I have a story that I wanted to share out of Motherboard Magazine. This is Maxwell Strachan. Uh, so this is about the enhanced games. Uh, I don't know if anybody's uh, heard of this. The, I don't like like the new it. Apple thing. <laughs> you mean like like the movie Strange Days from <laughs> 1999? So uh, the so-called enhanced games have been at the center of a firestorm of media coverage in the last few days after announcing that it had closed a multi-million dollar deal seed round that included funding by PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel Fuck that guy. and other venture capitalists. Mm. Uh, the, I hope his nipples are replaced by live bees. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's then he'll just sting people all the time. <laughs> well, then he'll just have two dead bees hanging <laughs> off his desk for a while. Well, that, that's how shitty Elon Musk is, because when you read his story, you're like, wow, when Peter Thiel is the guy I'm rooting for in your story, you suck. Yeah, yeah, uh, that is really bad. What so, are the enhanced games? So the for-profit organization is the brainchild of its president, Aaron D'Souza, best known for his role in the Thiel-backed lawsuit that brought down Gawker Media. The enhanced games bills itself as a, quote-unquote, modern reinvention of the Olympic Games that embraces performance enhancing drugs <gasps> and what it calls quote unquote <laughs> scientific progress a steroid uh, event? steroid steroid olympics, olympics. like uh, do they have a like, smallest nut category <laughs> so i swear to god these assholes <laughs> saw that <laughs> what, what, most widespread rampage <laughs> <laughs> biggest labia <laughs> <Yeah>. worst mersui <laughs> most family members killed yeah i was gonna oh, say Jesus worst mersui Christ. committed yeah <laughs> most wives beaten um, jesus no this uh i swear to god these guys like they watched that bill burr so, conan clip from like 12 years ago where he's just like why don't we just have our, our juiced up guy be your, your juiced up yes guy. and they were like yeah. this is a viable business option and now a bunch of millionaires instead of uh you know uh, paying taxes and uh building homeless uh shelters down in santa monica instead are like what if we have a bunch of roided up guys fighting uh, uh you know what title nine demands that there also needs to be women's divisions but also that those women's divisions are based around plastic surgery because i was gonna oh. yell for a second about how the men are wrong and yeah, then i yeah. realized fake butts are real oh yes fake butts. there needs to be a fake butt tossing <laughs> contest <laughs> like, a, like a fake but like a like a, a like twerking a, competition a twerking competition this is what you're <laughs> suggesting yes like, oh. and i know i know just the guy to be the judge to yeah. throw <laughs> it back the same yeah i <laughs> love humans that. are in, unhinged when it comes to enhancing themselves if you were doing a steroid olympics the twerking contest sideshow wouldn't be a bad idea yeah well this whole thing is a fucking sideshow <laughs> it's what it not? is well yeah, make it I crazy mean, this is what yeah. people want it's not the bill Stiffest, people have been demanding this for yeah, decades the stiffest fillers contest since the second they started testing for steroids i would say get mark mcguire and sammy sosa to like be color commentators hilarious (laughs) you've seen sammy sosa he can't be a color commentator anymore Turned him white. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Aaron D'Souza. Quote, in the era of accelerating technological and scientific change, the world needs a sporting event that embraces the future. It's time for the sports world to seriously reconsider its stance on performance enhancements. After all, it's your body and it should be your choice. The organization states <gasps> on its website. Oh, this is going to get... Wait a minute. Yeah, this is going to get bad. How many of them are pro-abortion? None then? of them. This is going to get bad. Fuck them to death. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah. So you're... Wait, you can't listen. And you can't use my body, my choice. Yeah. Unless oh, they're gonna. You when, when you start your own steroid sports <laughs> yeah. organization, you can. In, and this, a, in this situation, let me only, just tell you, it's okay. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so mad. As far as the political to steroid uh, freak show comparison. That's the least bad it is, uh, is what I've just said. It's going to get worse. Uh, Fight a bear. So the organization's (laughs) goals also include pushing back against what it calls the anti-science dogma and oppression that it believes proliferates through the sporting world. Question. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> are they also pro vaccine? Oh, I mean, probably uh, for them and not for everybody. That's socialized medicine. These are all libertarians, by the way. These I are all, you know, techno libertarians. Scooch my way out the door. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Rivers is rage bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so quote: It's time to see what humanity is truly capable of. They say on its site, enhanced. <laughs> what horrors oh humanity is God. truly capable. Of. Oh, this is, I think that's. Oh, a fucking history book and then just add not steroids even, to that. Not, not even a history book. The Island of Dr. Moreau. Open yeah, that book. Just... Uh, so Enhanced argues that since many elite athletes already use the performance Facts. enhancing drugs Facts. in the Olympics, Facts. legalizing the practice would allow it to create a more level playing field and a safer event. Quote, sports can be safer without drug testing, they say on their website. No. Yeah, it is. So 
You were right, Sam. Especially the head ripoff competition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you were. Fuck you. You, you are. <laughs> You are on paper correct, but the idea is that if this is like an Olympic thing where there are people competing from all the different countries, the most economically advantaged athletes are going to have a leg up. So the only way to make it fair is to let everybody have to take the exact same combination of drugs. Oh, but because these are libertarian shitheads and they don't think about downstream consequences of their stupid ideas, right. uh, which is like, oh, so what you're going to end up with is like the so, most jacked up dudes forever from the Western world and, and then everybody else is going to have to win it country candidates drinking the urine Dude, of the most jacked up, up dudes. You don't it's think, actual trickle down economics. You, you, don't un- <laughs> you don't understand that the Americans go to these other countries to get the steroids. Sure, but... They go on the tour from like Mexico to Thailand to fucking Russia. Like right. all these, everyone yeah. has access but to this shit. But they're not like, giving everyone. them to the local people because but they you will. have to make more money. So that's the thing is like, that's a first world... Oh man, she's about to get economic. Uh, so, But that's the thing is like you can be surrounded by like sugar for example but if sugar is your main export and you uh-huh. get rid of all your sugar but in thailand it's not their not main export sugar. it's just the like the M- like the muay thai and mma guys at the gym just have fucking steroids and that's where all the pros train and that's they just oh. take steroids you know Jesus thailand <laughs> i'm gonna be honest Thailand's not famous for their steroids they just exist they're not there. Great, great at steroids <laughs> uh, it's not, i wouldn't say it's their main export to the point where children can't get on steroids but it just, but, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a plot point in uh the expanse uh tv and book story series is they uh you can't anyway you're supposed to take drugs to keep your bones from growing all weird in space yeah. and if you're too if they you're not rich enough it. you'll just have weird weird squid bones I want, uh, <laughs> what if we i want that here's the real <laughs> fucked up paragraph throughout the website enhanced deploys the political language of inclusion in an attempt to reframe steroid users as an oppressed class oh fuck saying me. that it takes inspiration from the brave fight of the lgbt movement <laughs> <laughs> and, and going so far as to call itself <laughs> quote the most inclusive sports league in history as it welcomes people regardless of who they are natural adaptive or enhanced <laughs> Bionic. <laughs> the site also has a tab that offers tips on <laughs> how to come out as enhanced. Fuck! <laughs> I wow. fuck. So- I'm so mad. It's so you know, they've you know, taken the what the, they have taken <laughs> words used for the rights of LGBTQ people and women and people of color and been like, we're an inclusive environment for yeah. steroided up rich idiots. Ah, okay. You're, y'all y'all, y'all I, I remember? I gotta say, so I, I recently watched the behind the music of Ricky Martin, and this reminds <laughs> me of it. <laughs> Okay. Because he, he had a lot of trouble. She bangs. She, she bangs. She, she, she bangs strong into <laughs> her neck, and then becomes bionic and rips someone's head off. So I really was earlier today watching the behind the music of Ricky Martin. Was he on Roy? <laughs> no, but he had a wrong. He he had he a long protracted uh, coming out thing. Right? Uh, sure. Yeah. And, you know, and so th- that's kind of the whole arc of that behind the music. <laughs> Same thing with someone who's like been fighting in a mud pit and has <laughs> and, and has uh, 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 <laughs> barbed wire around their knuckles. <laughs> And stuff and they look like they're in Mortal Kombat. They have the same problem being like, I am a killing machine and I'm tired of apologizing for it. Mom, dad. I am not cuddling. I am a killing machine. I am a killing machine. I was born to kill. Yeah. Mom, dad, I'm a tough mutter. Yeah. Uh, I, tough I hate to say it. This is a major plot point of something I watched last night, which still holds up major pain. Oh, oh wow. Talking. You watched God. major pain oh, yeah. last night. Looking at what a poll. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and because uh, I just thought of it the other day, and that I forgot a main plot point of Major Payne is he is a literal killing machine. Yeah, yeah he yeah. gets kicked out of the army because he has killed all the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> they're all gone now. Yeah, the- what a like what a star power, like what a star vehicle thing where it's like, so why is he out of the army again? He killed all the enemies. Everyone. <laughs> oh, uh, everyone. Okay. In the <laughs> uh, this is another uh, quote from D'Souza. Quote, I think enhanced athletes today are very much like being gay 50 years ago. Oh, my God. Uh, so Fuck me. D'Souza, by the way, uh, who, who is openly gay, so it's totally chill for him to say something crazy. Uh, uh. He says, quote, it's conducted in secret. It's something you have to hide. You're always fearing the police and the authorities, but it's underground <gasps> and it's kind of fun. He's talking about steroids. <laughs> no, he's about gay it's kind of fun. <laughs> I just punched a hole in the wall. This is kind of fun. Kind of fun. Ooh, I feel so powerful. Um, <laughs> Consumed by power, overwhelming power. 
Oh my god! I'm sure it's a better than a cup of coffee. You know, you wake <laughs> or up a every cup day, of fit put aid. a fucking syringe in your ass. Get I mean, your fucking day going. You, you know, know, if you like, if you've been sick and they give you the steroid shot, you do feel fucking incredible. But look, you know. the, right, the term listen. Herculean has been long been a slur. <laughs> 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 and we need to debunk it. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, if you are interested in any of my hormone replacement patches, uh, you can Venmo me five hundred dollars, <laughs> and you can have some of my hormone. Of replacement patches. Uh, the organization at various points says that it is, quote, protecting our athletes' right to bodily autonomy, and the term doping is a colonialist slur <gasps> that, reeks, colonialist? that reeks of symbolic <laughs> and historic this violence is against audacity. <laughs> Are these it. men to, if you didn't tell me that man was gay, I would be I'd be like, uh, hold on, I gotta text some people I've dated <laughs> off of apps because this is the audacity <laughs> they show up to dates with. <laughs> he says it's the term doping has, is uh, symbolic of historic violence against both the black and enhanced populations of the world. What? Wow. You know what? Uh, we should let one Black Lives uh, Matter chapter head actually step on their penis. I, well, that, <laughs> that's the worst part is that these are all, you know, good San Francisco liberals on paper. Fuck you know them. what I mean? Yeah, they're the worst. Fuck. fuck. Oh, God. Except it's, for Teal, of course. That is, yeah. So if you've been listening to this and you're no, like, I agree what with is... Them. <laughs> this is the nexus because I used to be so jacked in high school. People were like, "He's a Reuter," and it would make me feel bad. <laughs> and that's why, and so that's jacked. why you've developed this yeah. uh, Doctor Zoidberg mm -hmm. physique now. Yeah, <laughs> I see. And I still have really big muscles under all of this. Under. Yeah, I had to hide it. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I can Reuter. actually discriminate. It's called a Reuter. Yeah. Did you, do you need to stretch your triceps after all that flexing? Or are you going to be okay? <laughs> No. No. Okay. You need to stretch your triceps after that. Oh, because uh, oh. you're so impressed. <laughs> That's where the Im Im the impressed feelings live. Your <laughs> it's like the good Dr. Schwarzenegger if once said. <laughs> Is it wrong to be strong? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did he say that even? I don't know. No pain, no gain. Yeah. Yeah. If, Him or Mr. T or someone else. Or Lou Ferrigno or yeah. something. Yeah. If you are listening to this and you've questioned what is soft boy misogyny, I would like you to know that it's the same components mm -hmm. where it is taking the language of progressives yeah. and then you're therapy subverting talk. You're it. You're weaponizing therapy you're, talk. Yeah, you're weaponizing the words that are meant to make things better and more communicative and you're turning it into a mallet for which to beat yeah. reality yeah. Well, with. It, it's weaponizing, yes, but commercializing more so. It's, yeah. it's, which is it's turning it into, chef's into yes. like trending <laughs> hot button terms that like yeah. are supposed to prick up the ears of Gen X so, and be like, or yeah. Gen Z. <laughs> Gen X. I, I was, supposed all of to prick them. Up all of them. Yeah, all, exactly. and there's a word in there for every generation. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I was going to say. The silent it, generation's hard. You yeah. know what I mean? They don't know why. <laughs> yeah, you have to scream at them because most of them are dead or deaf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wrap up! <laughs> well, I was going to say, if you remember the halcyon days of like 2015 when uh, the term fake news was like a thing that people were saying yeah. to their parents like hey the sh weird shit you're posting and online is fake news and then 24 it. hours later Donald Trump is on TV going fake news, That's and, fake you're, news. and you're like yeah. buddy this is gonna happen every fucking time I don't think we should have let them have books honestly we should have just <laughs> the, the internet, problem is bro. is they're like fucking raptors in fucking <laughs> <laughs> they're get, they're getting smarter. They're they're, they're intelligent. They're now. testing the fences for weakness. I mean, yeah. Like, you know, everyone loves a good word pool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tooting squirrel or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, the other. <laughs> I started using detritus excessively. Like, look What's at this detritus. detritus. What's trash? Trash. Detritus. detritus. <laughs> and it is. I, I, <laughs> me and Carly use it all the time. Detritus and detritus. <laughs> that is. Hilarious. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Everyone loves a good word pull, and especially advertisers who want to push their muscle man death show. On <laughs> does, it say, does it say what events they're doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. So, we uh, haven't even gotten that far. Oh, yeah. So the organization additionally offers alternatives to what it views as anti steroid language, saying that people should avoid using terms like performance enhancing drugs and mm -hmm. instead saying performance enhancements. They what what they if we should... called it heart destroying liquids? <laughs> I. <laughs> That's almost that is funny. It's not funnier than the next thing they have, which is instead of saying cheating, that we should use the word demonstration of science. Suck my <laughs> suck my my steroid grown lady dick from the back. Instead of <laughs> instead of the word unnatural, we use unenhanced. Uh, Fuck off. And uh, and doping, as with other slurs, 
there is no acceptable alternative. There, yeah. there is no acceptable alternative. <laughs> when I honk squeeb, I am demonstrating <laughs> science. No, he's saying like, like doping is the D word. Like you can't say it. There yeah, is yeah. no alternative. You know. uh, so the, the organization implies that they're dopes. <laughs> guys, <Right? Yeah. laughs> do it's it. offensive. I True. love that we've all just become a judge from a documentary in the 1970s where we're like, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fuck me. I guess those are words. Uh, they w- would allow people, though, to uh, s- say instead of doping, uh, they would say to avoid marginalizing members of the enhanced community. Suck my dick uh, from the back. <laughs> <laughs> they say, uh, eat my ass from the front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's pinning them ankles way back behind those ears. Eat my but... ass from the. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Jail buffet. <laughs> 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 All you can eat. I'm gonna do yum, this. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Just do it till I call you Linda. Uh, <laughs> this fit aid got me gone, man. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, uh, the organization argues with again some good reason that uh, pro steroid ideas are far from fringe. Noting that one online survey found three quarters of regular male gym goers have considered Shit. taking steroids at one point, and that stimulants and supplements, including caffeine, creatine, or amphetamine, are widely used to increase mental and physical alertness. So they're coming at us right now. They're saying that because we get yeah, we need to get out of the fucking dark ages. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And start injecting this stuff into our balls. Uh, yeah, well, they're they're saying like we, uh, you know, we we take a lot of caffeine to get funnier. Why can't they do a bunch of steroids to win races? Uh, so no, I don't do it to get funnier. I do it to not close my car keys into my car every day. I have <laughs> raging ADHD. I think if you gave me any of these steroids, I would just take a little nap. <laughs> Just me and my penis go to sleep. Uh, so, in <laughs> the, whole, the, the little pee holes going. <laughs> There's a little fe- little feather going up and down. <laughs> so it's got a cap it's on. It's got the so nightcap. Yeah. <laughs> For a long it's got a little snap. candle burning on the nightstand. Uh, <laughs> and the ghost of Christmas past <laughs> visits it. Uh, by the way, gentlemen, if you're going to send a uh, dick pic in this economy, I'm going to need you to put a tiny cap on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Not opposed. I just want some production value. Uh, <laughs> Tis the season. So uh, Enhance rewrites the history of performance enhancing drugs on its website as a positive one, depicting enhanced uh, techniques going back centuries. The organization notes with admiration, for example, that the ancient Greeks and Roman gladiators used performance enhancers. Y'all thought we uh, we hit the bottom of this with the LGBT thing. Oh, it's uh, about to get worse because he's giving historical examples. And then he says that steroids restored quote the health of the survivors of nazi concentration camps oh wow That's okay good. this That's is great. where we have to talk about the difference between <laughs> anabolic <laughs> steroids and medicinal yeah. steroids yeah exactly that's literally what he's saying is he doesn't either doesn't understand or is consciously ignoring the I, difference of like that's, that's the classic like Lincoln was a Republican yes oh, 100% yeah. where it's like technically <laughs> he used that word yeah, yeah I will say I do okay have you ever had a round of uh uh, steroids because you had a cold. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, I was yeah, talking yeah. about. You feel awesome. I feel like the funniest bitch on planet Earth. Hell Every yeah. time I've had to be in a course of steroids, I'm just like going up, and I'm like, you put me on a round of steroids, I'm gonna go up and be like, I'm the most confident I've ever been. I get I'm so much shit done. Sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's great. So now this guy's like, oh well, uh, you didn't take the steroids away from people who survived the Holocaust. You wouldn't take them away from our athletes. Y- you're like, not the same thing. Well, jokes on you. I'm an anti. Semi anti. <laughs> they were just trying to hold down rice, my brothers in Christ. Like, what are you doing? Uh, um, the dark period, according to the website, began in night began in 1967 when the International Olympic Committee began stifling scientific innovation by banning performance enhancing drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, right. the brave athletes continued on incorporating scientific advancement, i.e., taking steroids and in breaking back world alley. records. <laughs> Go back to biohacking, you losers. <laughs> The first uh, VC-backed global athletic competition takes its economic ideology, if perhaps not its ideology on identity politics, from the people that fund it. Uh, 
the slogan uh, is Embrace Capitalism. Oh, the organization God. says on its website. They're going to have these games in those spheres, aren't they? <laughs> it's going to be in the Santa Monica spheres. spheres. Yeah. So on the website, it uh, describes nonprofit sports federations as kleptocracies. So uh, <laughs> again, this is... It, it's, I, it's got all of like the annoyance of talking to a this, fucking Mises Institute libertarian with like uh, just the dread of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's no talking him out of this. Oh, anything. this is... Yeah, this yeah. is happening. You know what? Yeah. Let them... Yeah, to the put events. a little so bit, of, know the put events. a little bit of Crisco on the stairs. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> right. So one of the ways it hopes to turn a profit is by focusing on the most popular individual Olympic sports, such as swimming, gymnastics, and running, and cutting out the rest, including all team sports and ball sports, <laughs> which the organization <laughs> says it will allow to <laughs> focus on involve running, punching, screaming, <laughs> and <laughs> more punching. Yeah. That's the thing. Gonna die. It's no soccer. It's no fucking. It's nothing that Basketball. people watch. It is just things that weird, like venture capital Crack dudes. Do you think steroids yeah. would help you with a yelling contest? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it helps you. It, it helps you when you got a real bad, like strep throat. So you're, perhaps you were talking about the uh, current Olympic karate competition. <laughs> Have you seen those bitches? No. Amongst our karate group chats, uh, there <laughs> is. Uh, just anytime the Olympics happens, because I think karate made it in this year. It was like Taekwondo uh-huh. was the only one for a while and now karate is in. Uh-huh. And it is just seven minute videos of people going, <laughs> <laughs> just blood sport style <laughs> into the ether. It's so, even we know it's stupid. We're like, man, they shouldn't have let us in. We're too, <laughs> we're too Cobra Kai for Cobra Kai. So, Love it. so they're getting rid of all the sports that people like to focus on, quote, speed, strength, and endurance. And speed they strength. would eliminate wasteful infrastructure spending. Enhanced additionally plans to bring in popular non-Olympic sports, including mixed martial arts and will emphasize strength and combat just sports. Just say it. You just want to see your old, retired MMA greats just chop well, they, full of steroids already, break each other's bones off they already off. they already do that anytime these those guys return for a fight they pop yeah. positive you know what you want to know what speaking of mma fighters yesterday john jones and his wife walked into the open mic at the Hollywood Comedy. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> UFC heavyweight champion <laughs> John <laughs> Jones and his wife walked into the Hollywood Comedy to see, I don't even know, were they just trying to get out of the rain? I'm, like, what the hell? <laughs> the fuck did they Why end up here? in the Hollywood comedy? I will say, the, the past three days, the Hollywood comedy bed. mic in this torrential downpour rain had to be a sordid affair. Oh yeah. my God. Just, a lot of, just a, a lot of wet people yeah. that could be living in a sphere right Speaking now. Speaking of guys <laughs> who get popped for steroids, John Jones. Yeah. You know, get, let me just say something, just out loud. If you're thinking of starting to do stand up and you try it and you don't absolutely love it, quit <laughs> here's why there are cheaper and easier ways to ruin your life yeah. like um honking bird banging squawk, yeah. squawk <laughs> We're to becoming an the, mma the fighter squib, yeah yeah y- you already have a head injury and money go home last quote from the Susie here quote we think that this is a very important social movement where we can literally end the oppression of science and sports and unlock human potential on a whole new level in certain corners of the site enhanced really exciting (laughs) enhanced ambitions to spearhead a broader political movement become clear the organization regularly asks for help editing Wikipedia to quote (gasps) remove anti-science hate (laughs) so they're literally the guys who just keep adding Lance Armstrong back to the Tour de France uh, Wikipedia I guess. Or Chris uh, Benoit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so D'Souza's team is made up of political advisors from former Olympic athletes, the chief revenue officer of Tough Mudder, Wall Street investment oh, bankers, Jesus biopharma Christ. executive, and one artist specializing in abstract and neo-expressionism. Amongst oh. the medical advisors is George Church, a geneticist and professor at both Harvard and MIT, who recently founded a startup hoping to resurrect the woolly mammoth. <laughs> Did I tell you I had I have a recurring dream about about a being in a in a lab similar to Jurassic Park being in a lab <laughs> where people are recreating woolly mammoths that are about the size of Shih Tzus. <laughs> they're lining them up. That's adorable. In an organized ass out alignment. <laughs> On a shelf. And I've had this dream multiple times of just like 
yeah, we've created these woolly mammoths and this is where we stock them. And it's just a bunch <laughs> of cute, tiny, live pygmy woolly mammoths <laughs> just with little corgi butts <laughs> just facing a room. And then they break and loose. Ex- that's, that's and then fantastic. they break loose and shish kebab all these people. I would hope. It's the cutest stampede ever. Yeah. It's the cutest. <laughs> yeah. I, see, I, I was mammoth gonna, DNA. Yeah, I was going to say that list that I just gave is, uh, you know, the dream blunt rotation for the next submarine to the Titanic. Oh that's uh, that's Lord. what I'm hoping for. Uh, it's, but yeah, I loved that. That's literally the last of the article is like, just to give you an idea of how stupid all these people are, it's like, oh, and one of these guys, he's bringing back the we mammoth. Don't have enough money <laughs> for health care no, or no. housing. Or this mental health. <laughs> Everything's perfect, and now let's just make it more perfect. Uh, America, you know, absolutely. Emoliate yourself, please. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, I'm excited about the doping Olympics. Christ. Oh wait, yeah. I said the I said we the just word. yelled about that for a solid hour. That's how fucking stupid that is. <laughs> I'm so, so ca- you know, guys. Keep in I'm mind. I'm sorry. We keep didn't in all... mind. We would all watch. We would all at least oh, watch a couple oh, of percent. I <laughs> you know what? I don't, there's certain things I don't watch because on principle, you know, would you not even click on a video on like social media? Like that level it's, of avoidance. If the if the caption was the <sighs> two exactly. most you jacked people it. on you earth, would, everyone would watch it. Okay. Yeah. They are if, right about I would, that. I would only watch it if something went horribly wrong and it was in the news. <laughs> I want to see. I got to check it out. Is it a snuff film? Then it, yeah. yeah. It would be more boring if it was just regular. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. They're like a couple seconds faster. If they're, they're like, like okay. man's head exploded in the middle of 100 yard dash, <laughs> like, yes, I'm going to watch that video. I do. When we do, uh, when we do leg conditioning and karate, every once in a while, somebody will be like, why do we do this? Because uh, it hurts and it sucks and it's not fun. And I will pull up the video of Anderson Silva kicking his shin in half. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And I'll be like, that's why we do this. Yeah. This is so why we do this. We Oof. don't end up like this. Yeah. And um, and then you should show him the video of that same guy, Chris Weidman, breaking his leg on someone else's leg. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'd be seen... like, you see how strong his legs look? They're not. They're not that strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you've got to you've got to be able to you got to build up to that kind of tolerance and no anyway. But the point is is uh, guys. Why you got a man this hard, everyone? <laughs> Why you got a man like? Are you okay? Well, You've this is, just well, been. Well, you was, gave us credit cards in the seventies and you've been uh, unhinged ever fucking since. Well, see, I, I like your idea, but I want to flip it where okay. you get the most plastic surgery women yeah. to race each other, <laughs> and you get the beefiest <laughs> men of all time on a reality show. I yeah, yes! get them on the runway. I, I want, want, want Fat Olympics. Real, I want Fat Olympics. Real? Oh yeah, that'd be Ooh, the real. That's what I want. Jacked guys yeah, of yeah. Orange County. They're like on a fashion, uh, yes. yeah, a fashion yes. show. And I want to get... see them yelling at each other at a smoothie bar all morning. <laughs> <laughs> and then a woman running so fast, her breasts are hitting her in the head. You know, that's... <laughs> you know what? Why not? <laughs> yeah. Um, fuck it. This is the world that our kids are going to inherit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I say, I say, take oh, a no, bite. Listen, Listen, the boiling. I had a hysterectomy. Will... It's your kids. <laughs> I was going to say, Carter. I, I think, I think I'm going to smash my balls in a doorway on the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way out of this uh, podcast here. I'm out of this game. I'm above patriarchy right now. Yeah. 